How are you doing guys? How is everything out there with you? All right, my name is Glenn Byers and today we're going to give you three amazing ways to beef up your Facebook fan page. I'm actually going to do a little more than that and I'm going to show you uh, you know basically what I do when I do some of these things. Um, and this is one example right here. This is my blog and I always need some kind of feature type uh, photo right here or image alright so instead of you know buying a bunch of pictures um, I or doing the copyright type thing you know there's so much stuff going on I just a lot of times design my own little banners or my own little images to um, you know get the idea across uh, sometimes I use images uh, you can use that and I'm going to show you a couple different things that you can do uh, to make not only your blog good you could do this with your YouTube Facebook uh, Twitter all the uh, social sites that you can you know actually um, you know put headers up or whatever you know if you're using blogger for something or whatever all right uh, Facebook posts all these things you know they they're all about the same size what, what I use on my blog is uh, it's a 600 uh, 640 somewhere in that neighborhood uh, and if you put the top number in the the bottom number just you know overall makes it you know what it's supposed to be to make it look good so uh, this is one that I made right here and uh, you know I think I got this check mark off of Google or something or I think it was uh, in a transparency thing or s something you know I got I got this check mark from somewhere other than that I made everything so this was a special another image that I pulled in and put it on here um, let's go ahead and we'll go to the home and I'll show you a couple here's they're smaller okay you have to go to the post to actually get the full size but this is one I did uh, just the other day and you know this is just basically an image of, of uh, our place and in the motor home I was writing a, uh, a article on one of my travels when I was I was doing another business and I was traveling all the time uh, but this one right here I did you know uh, basically I made this myself uh, I made this one myself now this one I had to erase out everything around myself and make this a transparency before I put it in there which was a lot of work and it you know this one would t took me a lot longer but once you have the transparency and you save it then you can keep using that same picture but you know whatever so I made this one and this I think I got just off of Google and that's it this one I got from from somewhere so Uh, this is my blog. It's pretty cool. I, th I like this little video scene up top. Uh, really good viral blog if you actually need one. It's a viral blogging platform. Super easy to use. Uh, I think there's five different templates. And uh, this is the only one with the video. And I really liked it. So that's the one I picked. Um, let me show you one other thing uh, in our blog here we have a section that's actually for Facebook and it does this actual uh, real nice you know looking um, I guess you would call it an image with a text just like uh, basically if you ever did any ads for Google that's basically what this looks like except they'd put a button here somewhere so that's pretty cool too and that's why I do the images I use them as a featured I use it as a featured uh, image at the top and I use it on my on my Facebook things and if I do Google Plus I put it there anywhere I need a image you know images sell images 
pull people's eyes to you know your ad or whatever it is your blog post so that's why I'm kind of teaching the, this uh, we're going to use a program called GIMP and uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started uh, let me um, let's go back here real quick all right so this is what we want to do to beef up your fan page um, basically I think there's three things you want to keep up your page likes your posts reaches all this stuff and you can go in here to insights now I'm a bad thing right here because the last four days I really haven't done a whole lot to mine so mine isn't looking like yours should be you know what I'm saying uh, you know how life gets in the way sometimes and you kind of stop on something while well, I stopped on this last week this was uh, well 31 percent point five better than it was this week um, so my post I think my post clicks were close to 700 last week now I give you some tips here if you don't do this if you're not doing this right or whatever what I do is generally in the morning I try to find myself two videos uh, I will make myself a couple quotes you know just like I'm going to show you today and uh, generally I make I'm sorry um, I'll make a um, a blog post and put a featured you know picture there so I'll use that too and I'll put my blog post up so that's five posts and what I'll do is I'll go in there and schedule them so they're not all coming out at the same time everything's slow here today I don't know what the deal is so what you do is I don't know if it'll let me because I'm not ready to post nothing um, no it won't let me but once you see the post button there's a little uh, arrow on the side here just like this and what you do is you click that and you can schedule the post on your fan page so you know I usually do it like uh, around every hour you know I'll start about nine o'clock so ten o'clock one will come out eleven twelve one two and that's about it unless I decide to go back and throw something else in there you know so you never know some days you find a ton of stuff and some days you don't find hardly anything so you know it's all all depends on the day whether I throw anything else in there or not or sometimes I'll save if I find a ton of stuff I'll schedule it for the next day you know that way that works done and you're all set um, I have this thing here too that's set up when I do a video uh, it's IFTT -T. and what it does is that when I do a video it sends it to my Facebook thing but I really I'm not real impressed with it it doesn't give you no images or nothing not even the video it just gives you a um, basically what it does to me is it just gives you a backlink you know basically to your Facebook page I mean to your uh, video so um, that's about it you know keep that current and, and this banner right here I would suggest changing this cover banner a couple times uh, maybe like every couple months you know because once you do um, sometimes people will I don't know they slack off they you know they got so many things to do too so they don't come back or whatever if you change your uh, your banner here and sometimes uh, people see that when it goes out they'll see that you changed your banner and they'll come back and check you know what you've done to the page have you ever gone you know like somewhere new uh, somewhere you've been and then all of a sudden you know somebody else took it over or they revamped it and you went in there and it's like a wow you know wow that's nice well that's what you want from your customers you you want to wow them a little bit uh, wake them up a little bit you know what I'm saying so basically that's a good way of doing it now I'm not going to show you how to do this uh, but basically I am going to show you basically how to do it. I'm just not going to do a, a, a cover here uh, if you want the size you can google it 
it's um, it's around 851 by something and just put in uh, Facebook cover uh, dimensions or, or Facebook header dimensions and it should come up and then uh, when you do the GIMP thing and you place it up here sometimes you know the words are getting away or something sometimes you can you, you can move it if you if you uh, didn't delete it you know keep it up there until you got this right uh, because you can move you can take um, the moving tool and you know move these things around a little bit move it up a little bit if it's gonna hit in between these words or whatever uh, sometimes people put I see it all the time where people put something up there and it's behind their photo and you can't see you know their words you know and you can't tell what the heck it says um, so you can move things around a little bit so let's go ahead and go over to GIMP and, and uh, you know that let's see that uh, boy this thing's moving slow See, there's a couple of videos. Well, I'm not gonna do it. I was just, I was just gonna show you. Here it is, right here. Oh man, this thing's jumpy. Here's a couple things I did too. They're just little buttons uh, for this particular app, and I did those. Uh, here's that one from yesterday, and here's a couple that I did. You know, you saw. So you can use these things and not have to worry about running around finding all kinds of images and stuff like that uh, if you're going on vacations and stuff and you have pictures on your computer you can pull these in and and put words on there quotes or something and, and you won't have to be you know worried about copyright um, you know don't worry about you know all the copyright rules because you're basically making it yourself and the pictures are your own so you have no problem there alright so Let's go ahead and, uh, and take you through one of these. Basically, once you get it down, and I think uh, what I always tell my people, you know, like I, I do a lot of videos on how to and like uh, landing pages and stuff. I show them how to do landing pages and stuff. And what I tell them is once you did it once, go back and do it three or four times. And once you do that, you got it down you know you can do it in five minutes like I can you know bam you're done so uh, after this you know maybe you want to take some notes on exactly you know what buttons I'm pushing and stuff uh, that's the main thing trying to figure out when you're doing a new program trying to figure out where did he go and then if you have to go through the video 20 times you know that's not gonna help you so if you know if I say I'll try to say everything out loud so you can at least write it down and uh, you know get it to where you can just plug it in and go ahead and do one of these without seeing the video 20 times so first thing is up uh, I had already did these two colors before I pulled this in so what I did is I went up here and I hit new but I already had these colors fixed okay these are the colors I want to use and I already had them fixed so uh, what I like to do a lot I do it a lot is I use this blend tool all right it looks like a little book basically and basically uh, the two t the three tools I use are right in a row and you know this is the move tool if you hover over these things it tells you what they do so basically the three things that I use are right here blend um, the uh, it's a fill bucket type thing and I'll show you how that works and then the text and then if you want to move something around that that's it so basically there's four tools that I use and that's it alright so if you if you need to fix this all you have to do is click on it and then you know if you want a different color you pick the different color and hit OK it'll change but if don't, you have to do it before you put this up here if you if you don't then you have to just you know start over start a new one and you know start over so we're going to use the blend tool and it may make some mistakes here you know and, and sometimes I'm going to do them on purpose so 
basically, you know, that you can learn what to do once you make a mistake. A lot of people, you know, when they do these videos, they're so perfect and, you know, they got it all down. But then when you go try it, it's like, okay, I did this. Now what do I do? Because I don't like it or whatever, <laughs> you know. So let's go ahead. I'm going to blend this. Uh, let's double click on that. And uh, it has different um, shapes that you can do. I like radial myself. And basically I go and try to get around the center. And bam. You know, see how easy that is? And that's pretty good looking, right? So now I can come in, change this color. Let's change it to white. Hit OK. And um, I got a little quote here that I, this is the one I wrote. Oh. All right, now we did that. Sometimes when you paste this stuff in, it doesn't work as good. Well, I didn't, that wasn't too bad. Sometimes if you paste it in, it don't work right, so... You know, you might have to type it in by itself. Now, um, and sometimes if this color ain't right, you might have to change that. All you have to do is highlight it, put the color in you want. It, it looks like it's already there. And this is how you make it bigger, but it has to be highlighted. Oh, see, that's too big. Or you could pull these apart. All right. I don't know if I can fix this now. Oh, I could. Cool. That don't look too bad. Let's see. Let's see if we can get a little bigger. All right. Now that don't look too bad. Except it's kind of like bright right here, right? So here's what we're going to do. So what we did is we used the blend tool and then we used the text tool. All right. Uh, let me show you something else too. I didn't. On this text tool, you can go up here and change, change this. Every one of these tools, if you double click on them, they have different things that you can change on them. Generally, I use this bold one, but it'll probably make it too big. I figured. I figured it would. Let's see if I can go a little smaller, maybe. All right, I like that. I like that. I like the fullness of the the letters myself. You know, when you're doing this kind of stuff. So there's the fullness of the letter. Okay, so we use the text tool. We're pretty much done with that. Here's what I do next. Since this is so light right in here, what I like to do is kind of stand it out a little bit. And I'm going to come down here to transparency. So I went on layers, transparency, alpha selection, alpha to selection. All right. Now, if this was really big, like that Google one I did, I would probably pick a different size right here. You come to select grow it's on one I'm gonna put it on two I think I can get away with two um, and hit OK now I want to change this white to black we're gonna put like a border around that that's what this does so black and we want to pick this tool right here. Now I'm going to make a mistake on purpose, right? So I'm going to hit that. Oh, I made a mistake. Come up here. 
undo undo because sometimes this when you do this with this tool it is a little temperamental especially when the things are little all right so that did pretty good um, but on all these things you have to do the inner inside thing this is where it gets hairy or you can't even tell if it's done which in that case what you can do here is make this bigger that way you can tell if it actually got black in there and it's easier to deal with too All right. I'm doing pretty good usually oh I had to say something <laughs> Usually I get this thing. These little ones are hard. If you don't hit the right spot. Alright. A couple more to do. I can't even tell if I got those because they're in the black. I don't think they're going to be much of a difference there. All right. So now we can go back to 100%. And what you want to do now is come over here and select again and hit none. And that takes it all off. See how much better that looks? It brings it out. Now we're going to do one more thing and it might not do too good on this one because of the colors but we're going to this is what I always do you know this I'm going through the same thing that I always do. So then the next part of it and the last part is hit and filter. And you want to come down here to light and shadows and shadow drop or drop shadow, sorry. And a lot of times it'll bring up another box. And I'm going to leave it the way it is and hit OK. And now you got see you can see the shadow behind there. Now if your thing are, things are big and you can play with this if your uh, letters and stuff are a lot bigger like I did that Google one you might you might change uh, it, when, when I pulled that up you've seen the numbers there you can change the size of that stuff and make the shadow even bigger. Um, here's another thing I'm going to teach you real quick because this is kind of hairy too sometimes uh, I got this pretty well centered and it looks pretty good but I, I just want to I'm just showing you things you know um, so what we want to do is we're going to move this whole thing because it, it was all in one piece see how that white box came up well sometimes uh, sometimes like there all right if you if you pull that you get to pull the whole thing like that all right if that happens then you just come up here and put it back but make sure that little white box comes up and then you can move it see there's the shadow uh oh sometimes I do this too I kind of make that shadow look a little offset like that you know because the shadow see the shadows over here if you look over here you can see the shadow a little bit just drop ship shadow so um, that's something uh, one other thing I'll probably show you that in another I'll show it to you now it's not gonna make much sense but say you wanted the shadow which you never would but you, you, know, you wanted the, the thing behind it up front you put you kind of switch them around a little bit. Uh, I thought you just moved it. Switch out. That shuts it off. Huh. There's a way of doing that. I think you just move it, but I maybe not. I don't know. There used to be a way, and I kind of swore you. Oh, maybe. 
I could have swore you dra just dragged it. But anyway, you can move things uh, in different areas. So, uh, you know, maybe something went on wrong. This is pretty cool. This is the way I do things. That's how easy it is. Uh, we're going to do one more where I'm going to pull an image in. Uh, we're going to say new. We leave it at the same size. Um, uh, let's do another one. I want to with the bat white background. I don't think it'll matter, but I just want to make sure. Say okay. White background. All right, so let's find a, an image. Uh, let's see if I can find that. So you come up here, open as a layer. It's going to pull in this stuff. And a lot of times, for some reason, it'll come up on documents. Make sure it's in pictures. And it's not real, real easy to find stuff in here. There's no search, which I wish there was. I think this is it right here. It does give you a preview. So let's pull this in. It's it's small. Let me see the other one. Maybe it's a full size. It's small too. Here's one I know is big. All right, so we're gonna pull this picture in. Hit OK. I mean, open. And now there's your picture. And the way you go, you can basically put this in here like so. And I got another quote thing down here. I think. Copy. If you take quotes from somebody, like this one came from Les Brown, give them, you know, write down Les Brown on the thing. You know, make sure they get the, uh, uh, see I made a mistake. It's on black. We want it to be white right there anyway, or yellow. Let's put a yellow, that'll punch it out. So this would be a less brown one. I would just come over here and maybe even maybe even go down one and then kind of come over and say less brown. That was his quote. Too many of us not living our dreams because we are living our fears. And then you can either leave it like that. You can actually um, change this to black since we're going to use the white. Go to the blog. And if you want to put your blog post in there, I mean your, your blog URL in there then you do something like so that's it guys that's how easy it is um, I think the hardest thing about pictures are finding them you know once you get so many pictures on your computer it makes it really hard to find those pictures in there um, like I said that this particular picture right here I got from I was going on a trip uh, actually it was a company event and I was at, uh, first time I'd ever been on the airplane where I had a window seat and I was just taking pictures of the sky you know just getting something that nobody else really could get or you know it, it was just one of those things there was a lot of good things a lot of good clouds covered things with the with the background of the sky I thought that was cool and I took the pictures now one thing if you get somebody else or even if you do it yourself if you if you use your phone for pictures here's the thing use it uh, wide oh not wide um, sideways okay don't use it like you use your phone when you're talking to it it's straight up and down that gives horrible pictures alright you want to use it the other way like a camera would be 
and that'll give you a decent sized picture uh, uh, the decent way and you know you'll be able to use those pictures so if you have friends or whatever and, and they're going to you know wherever uh, maybe California or wherever they're going you know I live in Florida so that's you know that's not very sensible for me but if hey if they're coming down here from Florida and you're from Massachusetts or whatever you know and they you you want some beach scenes or or you know some really super nice uh sunshine um you know like sunshine scenes or or sunset scenes you know have them take the pictures and make sure you tell them to take it like a camera and not straight up and down because i see that on facebook a lot of these people take their pictures straight up and down and they're like that's that that could have been such a nice picture but it's so stupid because it's so little and wide I mean narrow so that's a hint for today and uh, man guys I hope you really appreciated this um, if you uh, if you need a blog let me know on my on my uh, blog on my blog if you go to my blog I'll have a place where you can get this wonderful blog uh, it's a viral um, viral blogging platform and it is awesome guys it, it, it gets your posts up there uh, the whole thing about this is is there's many people on this this uh, main link which helps us as far as Google coming to see our stuff really quick and getting it put up on number one or you know getting it indexed so we can get traffic to our sites and uh, there is a ton of good stuff to this thing I couldn't even uh, go through everything without spending another half hour so um, check it out you can come check out my blog and see what it's like and uh, hey guys I appreciate you thank you for stopping I hope you held out the whole time and I hope you got some good value out of this video I appreciate you. See you later.